recently did a video on how to make these uh, vintage looking Halloween signs. How about something a little bit more spooky? Looks like it's really been around a while. Like so. I'll show you how to do these, uh, how to get it laid out. And I'm going to be using the longer ray 5 laser here and I'm going to just about max it out on the Y travel. Because I'm doing a 14 and a half inch tall sign on this one. Uh, it's 10 inches wide or something like that. Uh, the graphic though will not fill the complete width of it. So I'm going to take you on here, show you what I'm going to be doing. We'll get set up. Coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And I have mentioned uh, I, we did these signs here a while back. Um, give it that old kind of dirty look. Well, what I'm going to be doing is combining this method along with this method to make it look like it's really been through the war. And we're going to put, apply both of those features to this sign that I'm going to be doing on the longer five. And this is uh, another Halloween sign uh, theme. I'll show you how I do all this. We're going to go step by step. First thing I need to do is take this board and put a little bit of oil on it. And by oil, I mean a, a Danish rubbing oil, and I'll show you what I'm doing. And what I'm using here is this Watco Danish oil, and the natural. I, said, I don't want to darken the wood, I just want to be able to put a little bit of oil on it. Take a blue shop towel, get a little on it, don't go crazy. And we'll just rub this down. And what I'm using here is uh, quarter inch plywood, but it's actually underlayment made for like bathrooms and kitchens. And in fact, on the back side, it's got X's to show you where to nail it. But I use this a lot, it's, it's inexpensive. I also have a friend that uh, gives me cutoffs and scraps. He, he puts flooring in, and he always has scraps, so I make use of them. Well, that's all you do there is put a coat of that on there. Then I just flip the towel over rub off any excess and we're going to take that right to the engraving. If you have air assist on your laser turn it on because the air assist assists in giving this antique look effect, the old antique dirty look and I already had this set where I wanted it before and I think I remember where that was I believe it was right there but we're going to frame it to make sure. So what are my settings here? It's set to fill at 3,000 millimeters per minute at 90% power. Of course, one pass. So let's take this here and frame it to make sure I'm where I want to be. And that looks good. So we'll get this started because this is a long engrave. It will take an hour and 32 minutes to engrave this one because it's a large sign. I'm taking this pretty much to the max on uh, the white travel on this laser. <laughs> So there we have it. I'll take it off. I'll show you the next two steps. Okay, you, you're going to want to do this right after it gets done engraving. Don't like wait overnight or something because if the oil that we put on there completely dries, this won't work as well. So you take your hand and kind of rub back and forth on there. And you'll see it'll pick up that little bit of soot that's 
still laying in the uh, engraving. It'll make it look kind of dirty looking. You don't want to overdo it. You just want to kind of give it a little bit of that antique -y, dirty looking like it's been around a while. Okay, now our next step, we're going to use a torch. Now what I'll be doing with the propane torch here, and I've got it set up on a block of wood, is I'll be scorching the, the, all the edges and the corners. You know, I had a few spots here and there. Just kind of do it at random. You can add a few spots here and there. It's up to you how you want it to look. And I like it just about like that. Now the next thing I'll do is after it cools off a little bit, I will put a coat of either polyurethane or if you want an amber look, use a marine spar varnish because that will actually turn amber. Uh, polyurethane will also give a little bit of an amber look, that antique look, but not uh, quite as well as uh, spar varnish will. Unfortunately, it is raining out, so I can't take this out and spray it right now. I'm not going to spray it in here. Uh, if you want to use brush on, put a spray coat on first, because if you start trying to brush this, it's going to smear and it's not going to look very good. And so next thing people may want to ask is, can I use polycrylic? No, you cannot use polycrylic on this because we put that oil on there. If you would, unless you let it completely dry for several, several days, if you try to put polycrylic over this, it'll bubble up and it'll look funny. Okay, of course, I, I don't have this coated yet because of the, the weather is not cooperating and it got quite a bit cooler, hence the sweatshirt. Uh, Something to keep in mind when you are using one of these is this, because this is underlayment plywood, it is not waterproof. This would not be for outdoor use. If you want to make this for outdoor use, you would want to make sure you get a exterior glue plywood. Uh, to hang this, you got your choice. You can put a regular hanger on there, a sawtooth type hanger. Uh, what I do is I drill a small hole in each corner and I use this uh, Shoot twine like this, you can buy a whole roll of that for a couple dollars, so it's, it's not expensive. You tie some knots in it and hang it up that way. So there's uh, how to get not only the old look, but the uh, kind of spooky look to it. Uh, this is, type of thing is very popular, and we've I've found out that these sell real well. So if you're uh, interested in doing this, it's just that easy. Yeah, uh, this particular graphic came from designbundles.net. Uh, well, if I can find the link of where I purchased it, I'll put it in the description. Of course, the laser is a longer ray five. I, you've seen me use this a lot if you watch my videos. I really like this particular laser, and there's links in the description if you like to get it or any of the accessories like the honeycomb board or the air assist or I mean, that kind of good stuff. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Roger in the shop. Halloween signs. Old looking. Spooky. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.